Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about how can add resignation in Laravel. It will be very much interactive one of the things like if you go to our back end into the back end I have already added some of the designation so that is one of the default designation where we are using one of the data table right into the data table by default they have some of the designation after the 10 post automatically another designation will be loaded in particular that area which is totally fine but right now I want to do I want to add some of the designation in our font in like that is our font in here if you go to our blog that is our our all blog right now I have that four blog right they have the four block now that should be displayed in here that is our all block as a one and there is a two block three and then there is a four now here I want to do want to add some of the designation here also for this theme they have the custom designations how can add some of the custom designation I will also cover it first of all I want to show you like here I want to add some of the designation the default designation if you want to add like I get all that our data right that is our slash blog if you go to our web there is a web.php into this web.php for the blog Mm, like you can see that is our get slash block I have already created one of the method as a home block and I have created that home block in our block controller now if you go to our block controller into the block controller I have created one of the method you can see that is our home block so into the home block what exactly I have done before I get all that our data from our block that is the latest all that I get it right I create that things with this variable then I simply pass it in our font in one of the block page like right now if you go to our block page that is in our font in that means in our resources view and then that is our font in and here I have created as a block you can see that is our block.php so you do the block.php now I want to show some of the designations so you can see that have some of the for each loop so that is our total for each loop and after that there is a designation before I actually remove some of the things from here like right now I want to, want to add some of the designation if you want to do this work that will be as a default designation and also you can create another custom designation I will cover both of this with you our default designation will be uh, here before I get all the data right so now I want to, want to add on the designation I want only want to display as a three post so that will be as a designate Okay, P A Z I N A T E. Now there is a designate, and for the designate, I right now I, I don't have much data. I don't have the four data, right? There is a four block post. Now I want to do want to add as a three. Okay, so I want to get that as a three, and after that three, our designation will be executed. Okay, I simply loaded that designate, and now if you go to our block page, because here I have already get all the data. I take that things with this variable and with our compact method in our font in block page here I pass it right now if you go to our block page like that is our font in and that is our block dot blade and after that for each okay here we have to add it after that for each so now after that for each like right now I remove it okay I remove it and in particular that position I want to do want to load one of the designate so here if you want to add that designate the first of all that load blade syntax and right now we are outside of this for each right friend just simply understand right now we are outside of this for each before I get all the data as a all block and as item so as item that is our item variable that will be executed only in our for each loop so right now I want to add that things outside of this for each loop for the reasons here we have to use it our direct one as a direct variable as a all block which I have already passed it from here right that is our all block I pass it in our block now we have to do we have to use it I simply use all block right now with this all block here you have to use it as a links okay so that will be the links so that is one of the by default command line when you use it as a designation here you have to use it as a link then automatically our designation will be executed because here I have already added one of the designate as a three post and after that three post that will be display now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our page like there is a block page right now there is a four okay right now there is a four now I want to refresh it now here now that is how I want to check it like there is our first post there is a two three and after that three you can see now there is a previous one and that is our next one so right now we show automatically as a showing as a one into each to three out of our four result like that means they have the another result if you now go to our next page now you can see it's now redirected to the page two and for the page two there is another one as a only one 
okay now that is our four post our page ignition is successfully working and right now that is inactive and if you don't want to go our previous page like click as a previous one is activated now that is our page one and into the page one our i have already added the three so right now it's display as a three and after the three then that will be as a page ignite okay so that is our default one so when you use that as a default one here you can see they have some of the things icon so there is some of the another link there are some of the icons so it's not actually appropriate for a specific this theme okay so now here for this theme that is also one of the custom um, custom designation if you go to our theme like there is a theme and there is our block html there is a page i have loaded now if you now open with the um, chromey now uh, here for our blog that is our default blog i used this layout right that is our blog.html and in particular that page here that sh should be some of the um, you can see there have some of the pa custom page ignition that is a page ignition now i want to apply that type of one of the page ignition in our page okay that means in our custom theme here i want to do i want to apply it i don't want to use that as a custom one but if you want to use that custom one i hope you get that idea how to do this work our all functionality actually work perfectly but that is not supported in this theme for this theme they have one of the page ignition style i want to apply apply that style in here okay how can I add that custom page ignition in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video